It's Taylor Time Tuesday, and you know we're always trying to give you news you can use and make your life better. Well, today we're talking about the art of massage, cupping, and acupuncture, and I'm trying all three to see which one is better. I'd like to welcome Dr. Ed La Madrid and his assistant Kimberly Stevenson to the show to help us out. Welcome. Thanks, Taylor. Thanks. Let's talk about uh, acupuncture because it's been around for thousands, thousands of years. I was going to say hundreds, but I didn't know thousands. thousands of years. It's been around for a long time. And here in California, acupuncture is really very popular. You can find acupuncturists in a lot of the hospitals, working with a lot of the MDs in the state and all across the country. And explain to people why they would get acupuncture to begin with. So, one of the main things that Americans discovered about acupuncture is its effect on pain. Very effective. Um, and so think about it this way. If you had a choice between you know, strong painkillers that might cause addiction later on. Yes, and it should be a part of healthcare. And it, it is a part of the new healthcare reform, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay. And also the military. The military has discovered acupuncture, especially for the treatment of pain. All right. Well, I, he's going to start doing some acupuncture on my legs to show you what he's talking about. So I'll just ask you questions and let's sure. get started. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I got to be very ladylike here. <laughs> Try to be. And why don't you explain to the viewers what you're doing while you're doing it? So what I'm doing is I'm just swabbing points with alcohol just for, for okay. it's, it's called clean needle technique okay. that we do in this country. And the points that I've chosen are actually great for energy. Okay. Not that you need any, because you're already so energetic already. <laughs> so take a breath. Are we close? I want to see if we're, uh, take a breath. Take it doesn't a breath. hurt. What do you think? It doesn't hurt at it all. It doesn't hurt at all. No. That doesn't hurt at all. And I'm going to get energy. Yeah. More than I have. <laughs> more than usual. I will tell you, I've used acupuncture when I had uh, sciatica and I couldn't even move. I went to chiropractor, he made it worse, but acupuncture made it better. There you go. This would be a treatment that I would do for uh, runners, like for the Chicago Marathon, New York Marathon, um, that just gives more energy and energizes the legs. I like that. I had a good workout yesterday. Will it help relieve the lactic acid? Yeah, absolutely, because wow. it'll help with circulation. So not only the circulation of energy or chi, but circulation of blood and lymphatic fluid as well. All right, so what other ailments does it help cure? So we talked about pain pain being a primary thing, but, and things like headache, back pain, any kind of aches and pains, joint pain, there's been a lot of research about joint pain and acupuncture, but also things like infertility. Uh, oh, then don't do that. <laughs> I do not have that issue. I have four daughters. I can't even touch the elevator button, okay? Without Got worrying it. about it. Got it. Jeez. Digestive problems. Okay. Um, hearing problems, all kinds of skin problems are Chinese med traditional Chinese medicine is a system all onto itself. And because it's been around for such a long time, treating all kinds of conditions. Are we done or is that you're gonna do more? I could do more, sure. Does it matter or is that, how many do you typically do? In a, in a normal treatment, it might be anywhere from um, 12 to 14 needles on both sides of the body. Okay, and sometimes you'll feel it. What I notice is sometimes you won't feel anything and sometimes you'll mm -hmm. feel it. Why, why is that? So a lot of times it depends on how much flesh, how much muscle. So in points in the legs that are more muscular, most patients won't report feeling anything. But on thinner areas of the body, you'll feel a little bit more of a pinch. I feel that last one you did. This one, so this, so your muscle right here is actually pretty tight. And so you would feel it as it goes right in. The muscle a little bit higher is a little bit more relaxed. And so the needle goes in pretty easily. No wonder. But that's okay if I get energy. Not a bad right. thing. So digestive, fertility. Uh, Libido. Nervous system, right? Nervous system, also depression and anxiety. A big study was just released out of England that showed that acupuncture was just as good for the treatment of clinically depressed people as the standard care. Counseling wow. or pharmaceuticals, so that was used. So I don't know, put drugs in your body or get acupuncture. I'd rather have acupuncture. There you go. What are, so those are the pros. What are the cons? Well, so 
there aren't any cons, really. Yeah. Um, there might be like slight bruising at the site of an insertion of a needle. Uh, depending on how often you get acupuncture, I may need to change the treatment a little okay. bit, but there really aren't any cons to acupuncture. Let's see if we get a camera shot of this one more time. How long does it take before you, you know, the effects start? So usually patients retain the needles for about 20 to 30 minutes. I've seen patients get off the table super energized, super relaxed, um, and I've seen pain go away in one to two treatments. Well, yeah, I don't feel that other one anymore. Yeah. Is that because, because I'm relaxed? Because it's relaxing. It gets used to it. And many people actually will consider acupuncture as relaxing as getting a full body massage. Let me ask you what I've heard, like if you have this reoccurring injury or this, uh, whether it's a, a knot in your back that just, you can't massage it out. Sometimes acupuncture will be, is the only solution. Explain why that is. So the interesting thing about acupuncture is that we've brought it, you know, to the, to the newest stage, to where we are now. So we use electric stimulation with the needles. So we attach electric leads to the needles to actually stimulate to break up connective tissue or those trigger points, those knots, or to relax muscles if we need to. Awesome. Then let's talk about the, uh, you know, the deal you wanted to talk about today, the special day concerning acupuncture. So, yes, October 24th is National Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine Awareness Day. And so all the acupuncturists in the country have been going around petitioning for proclamations to get awareness to people that acupuncture can actually help people with a lot of things and giving them choices in their medical care. Can we do it ourselves? You cannot do it yourselves. <laughs> and uh, you definitely don't want to go to somebody who's taken a weekend workshop. You definitely want to go to a licensed acupuncturist who's got training. And how would we know the difference? So the National Commission of Certification of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, nccaom.org, they certify all of us. And so you can actually go on their website and find an acupuncturist near you. Awesome. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> can you see me? We're gonna take a quick break. and we come back, we're gonna try cupping. Cupping, I've never done cupping before. 